This video is all about how to place trades in Dhan Broker directly from TradingView without using any bot APIs or middleware. The best part is it is completely free. First log into your Dhan account. Ensure that your account is funded. So now we have added the money to our account. Now go to trading view. This is the code of the strategy that we are currently working on. Here I'll walk you through strategy settings. This is a special model strategy AI suggested and these explanations are just for demonstration not for sell. We can create your strategy with advanced features. You can enable specific entry sessions if needed. If you want to highlight session on the chart, simply click on the corresponding option. The same applies for the exit session. If you want the exit session, you can on it. And if you want to highlight the exit session, you can click on this corresponding option. So here you can see that this is EOD exit, end of day exit. And if you disable the setting, the trade will not exit automatically at the end of day. You can also define the start and end date for your trade based on your strategy. We are using a combination of indicators like ATR, average true range, stochastic. In stochastic, we have the higher time frame and other conditions too. The next we have the squeeze momentum which is of the multi time frame and it also includes more conditions. Here we have the flexibility to turn these indicators on or off depending upon our preferences. This video is not about explaining trading strategies in detail. It focuses on only integrating trading view with Dhan in direct and simple manner. This setup will allow you to trade directly from the trading view chart into your broker account without any third party tools. This setting defines the maximum risk per trade. Here we have given 1000 rupees risk on each trade, which means that it will take a risk of a certain amount at a each trade. This target is based on the X time of the risk. So here you can see that it has taken the profit of 4000 that is the X time of the risk. And here you can see that it has taken the stop loss of 1000 rupees. Here you have got the 4000 profit. Here also you have got the 4000 profit. And in this trade you have got a 1000 loss. On the chart it is stated properly where we have got the long entry and where we have got the short entry. You can increase the target as per your preferences. So if I change this to 5x, you will get a 5000 profit here. Which means that for a 1000 loss you get a 5000 gain. You can switch on and off advanced TPSL displays and analyze chart like a pro with tools crafted for your needs into your trading ideas. These syntax are automatically triggered based on the market condition. This syntax will be generated when the long entry signal is there, like whenever the long entry will be there. A certain syntax message will be generated, same for the short entry, long exit and the short exit. There will be different syntax that will be generated when the condition will be met and these syntax will be generated from the Dhan account. In your Dhan account, go to order section. You will see multiple order types, but you need to select webhooks. You can execute trades directly on trading view using free webhooks provided by Dhan. The main purpose of the video is to explain how to set up this. Your webhook status is inactive, first you need to activate it. Then only you will be able to proceed with the rest of setup. Click on manage to continue. You now need to generate a new webhook URL. You have to select a deadline for your URL indicating how long the webhook will remain active. Click on generate new. Here your webhook URL is generated. You can copy this webhook URL. You will use this URL when creating alerts on TradingView. 
This note indicates that each webhook has a expiry date. After this date, you must recreate the webhook URL to continue using it. They have provided us different types of trade here, but for this time we'll work on equity. Click on add script. Here you have to choose the symbol on which you are working. So in the trading view, we are working on Reliance Industries. So we'll add the same here. As we have added the symbol in the script, the symbol has automatically been added here. You can buy or sell as per your choice. Now let's move on placing a long entry order in Dhan Broker. As you can see, we are currently having a long entry setup. We want to include specific syntax that shows details when was the long entry triggered, what quantity is being taken. But at this point, we are not including quantity parameters or anything more extreme. But we offer custom quantities and symbol options exclusively for our premium clients. But however, in this video, we are focusing especially on explaining the ELGO integration process. Now, as you want to take buy entry, go to Dhan Broker, place a buy signal. The script should be same of the trading view. Set a segment to equity and choose the product type either intraday or delivery. Enter the quantities or lot size you want. Price should be set to be market. Now generate a JSON object. This JSON is like a small code block. When you send it from TradingView to Dhan, it will place a buy order. Copy this JSON output from here. Dhan says to paste it to the price alert section of the chart on TradingView. But our Pine script is already advanced. You just need to paste the JSON in the long entry settings of the indicator, which is much easier than creating alerts. Also, we'll provide a tooltip on how you can paste things from Dhan to TradingView. To exit the buy, we need to sell the quantities. So now we have to go to the Dhan, change it to sell and generate a JSON. So here in the transaction, we have got a S, so which means that we have got a sell transaction. And if it is a B, then we, it means that we have got a buy transaction. Copy this JSON and add it in the trading view. We'll repeat the same process for short entry and exit. Now that you have completed the syntax setup, if you want to see it on the chart, click on debug algo on chart. You can see here that the syntax has been applied and visible on the chart. Go to the strategy tester and open list of trades. Here you will see that the syntax added in the settings is also displayed for each trade entry and exit. Now the next step of the ELGO integration process is to first check your indicator settings. Make sure that everything is applied correctly and the syntax has been added. Once confirmed, click on the three dots of the indicator and select create alert from the menu. You don't need to change any setting except the one, the expiry. Set the alert expiry according to your preferences. However, it is recommended to choose 30 days since your webhook URL also expires in 30 days. You don't need to change the message, just go to the notifications. On this webhook notification and paste the URL from Dhan. Now create alert. Now our alert is active and it has also triggered. When we go to Dhan positions, so here you can see that our sell order is placed and also you can do the required changes if you want. When we move to orders today, so here you can also see that we have a sell order. You can see the complete details of order from here. Now I'll go back to the trading view and restart the alert. So here you can see that when the alert is triggered on trading view, the order is placed on Dhan. 
However, this order is failed due to insufficient funds. Now we'll go to trading view and place a close order. You just need to change the message. Sell will change to buy. And whenever it is triggered, we'll get the order in turn. Here you can see that we have got the buy order. Now if we again restart it, then also we'll get the order in turn. So now I will exit this order. And here we got a sell order. That's all for this video. Hope you liked it.